Okay, everybody, I just thought I would give you a little bit of an update. Feels to me like my ankles recovered well. I just kind of had that bruising. Like I said, it wasn't a severe injury, but I just thought it was best to give it some time because a couple of new developments have happened. Now, first of all, I'm recording this, uh, what I guess is technically Saturday morning. We're 1 a.m. I've been working really hard on a charity event that's going to be happening next Saturday. So it's been non-stop all this week. I've had staff work Christmas party at my new place of work. Loads of things. But the new development is that I've been invited to run with my uncle, who has done a number of marathons, and his, uh, I guess, training partner, friend, colleague. I'm not entirely sure who that person is. And they're going to be training every Saturday, or at least every other Saturday, from now until... Uh, London, London Marathon, which is also around the same time of year, I think, as Brighton. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know off the top of my head. So next Saturday, I've been invited to train. They're going for a 10K, or what they expect to be about 10K, running at roughly six minutes per kilometre. I feel like I'm very comfortable at 5.30. I feel like I can push myself towards five. So six should be okay for me. It's a bit of a strange thought to, to do that because... I've never run with anybody else, really, who's who's a runner. I've done a little bit of kind of recreational running, I suppose, with people, but it's never been as part of any kind of training plan. It's just been having a little bit of fun. So it's going to be interesting for me. I, I guess I'm a little bit nervous just because I don't know what to expect. Um, I hope it's as low-key as, uh, and as informal as, I, as I'm imagining, but, of course, I don't really know how seriously these people are taking it. Uh, but it will be nice to just run alongside people and do something a bit different. So what I'm going to do is in a few hours' time, I'm going to get some sleep now. I'm going to go for what I call a 7 at 7. So up at 7 a.m., head out there, do a 7-kilometre uh, run. I've got a nice route that I did last Friday night, I believe. Last Friday where I went up to the local kind of cathedral and all of those things and ran through the university. The weather is just so, so peculiar. Every hour it's changing. You look at the weather, it says it's going to be sunny, and then you're... An hour later, it's torrential rain. Equally, the flip side of that is that sometimes you're seeing it torrential rain and then suddenly the sun comes out and you don't know where you are with it. So I've not bothered to check what the weather's like, but I'm going to go for a seven at seven. Uh, tomorrow, I've got an event to attend, um, a family, well, sorry, a friend's birthday, kind of family friend. So I'm going to try and do something in the morning again. So I hope I'm going to get to solidish runs it probably won't be major long runs because i've not really had time to get into my flow this week but we'll see how we feel you know me i, I go with how i feel on the day and if it feels good i'm rolling with it if not i don't bother anyway i'm gonna get some sleep i'm gonna catch you all out of the road in about six hours or so all right catch you soon just about to set off Decided this time, no fleece, it's pretty mild, it's about 10 degrees out there. So because of that, there's no real reason for me to wear anything after this, because once I get going, I'm going to be too warm. The sun doesn't rise for a good half an hour yet, so I've got the head torch, but that will eventually uh, be uh, turned off after I've, after I've sort of kind of got out there and realised that there's enough light to uh, for me to be visible. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get going and uh, see how things see how things go. And so it begins at 7 at 7. You can see already it's pretty dark. But um, I'm hoping it shouldn't be like this for too long. Nice conditions. Very mild, as I mentioned. I've gone with my Under Armour reflective shirt just because I feel like it's the most visible piece of clothing I've got. Head torch. And uh, the LEDs on the back of my as well of course. Oh, pleased to be out, I missed this. Oh. I'm a couple of K in. I think I went out a bit too fast. Uh, feeling pretty tired but that's a combination of a lot of things I suppose anyway need to get back on it I've got to be honest I feel so exhausted uh, this is probably one of the poorest runs I've done uh, I just feel like I don't want to be here right now 
Um, about 4k in. I'm running into the wind and I'm just not enjoying it. If I just stop to record this, I'm going to just jog it back because unfortunately, when I stop, I start to feel the cold. So I need to at least jog it home, but oh, I just feel, feel really, really tired. But hey, it's honest documenting of my journey. Today is just not one of those days for me, but I will, I'll get there. Lots of self-talk, but it's not enjoyable, it's not fun. Anyway, oh, I'm a few hundred metres from home. The sun's creeping through. It just felt like I was carrying a dead weight today. Nothing wrong with my feet, ankles, none of that. I just felt like it was hard work. Really, really hard work. And, uh, so it's not emotional, but I just, oh, just frustrated, but it's, it's my own doing. You know, this whole get up and go. The more I start to analyse it, I know that I need proper fuel before any kind of run, really. And, uh, yesterday, a very, very limited lunch. And then last night I was out, just had come some soup and some rice cakes, just, you know, having a relaxing evening, which is cool, until you try and do something and uh, really put some effort into it. And your body just says, yeah, 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 sure, you're hoping. And so, inevitably, this is a result. <sighs> Anyway, sometimes you need these little reminders that, uh, you know, you need to put put the time in beforehand. You can't just expect your body to respond immediately. It's a luxury, but it's not. It shouldn't be an expectation. 